It's an amazing story. We had a patient that came to see us. Wayne Bissell had multiple spots in both lungs and was seen by uh, his primary care doctor. We met with the GP on Friday and, of course, got the news that this presenting itself as cancer, and it was going to be cancer. And of course, that's not something anyone wants to hear. I was very surprised by the, the diagnosis. He plays sports and is very active and involved in Will's life and Kate's life. Wayne is, seems to be pretty healthy. He's got a lot of activities that he does and he enjoys, and so he came to see me as a second opinion. He looked at x-rays and had a lot of questions, and we'll tell him about the cough, and well, how'd you feel during this? In the past, if the patient had spots like he did, we could do traditional bronchoscopy, but, but our yield was very low. You could use a, a CAT scan guided needle biopsy, but that had the potential risk of collapsing the lung. Other method that would be easier would be removing the bottom part of his lung surgically, and he would find out he had a benign condition that did not warrant losing part of his lung. We spent an hour or so in there, I guess. He said, I I, I don't think it's cancer. And I said, well, I like the way you think. I, let's go with that. He said, the only way to know for sure is to do a biopsy. And in Wayne's case, we decided that we wanted to find out what this was using a non-surgical approach. And therefore, we went ahead and did a super dimension bronchoscopy on him to diagnose his condition. I was very relieved there's another option rather than either cutting me open or sticking a needle in there to, to get the biopsy. I, I, was, I was pleased it was an alternative. The Super Dimension technology is playing a pioneering role in the care of lung disease and, and lung cancer as well. What the Super Dimension technology does in the simplest form is it takes the normal axial scan, put it into our software. It's going to create a virtual image of the lungs. The physician is able to target the lesion, target the mass, and then the computer software takes that target and finds the easiest pathway through the lungs, into the periphery of the lungs, to that lesion. They're able to then drive down using the GPS technology, following a line guidance just like you are in your car, and navigate out to that lesion. We want to get the best type of biopsy with the least complications and the highest yield. This technology just makes a huge difference in the way we approach these things and so it has just changed the game totally in my opinion. For me the procedure was you know, was a non-issue. I mean even less than going to the dentist. After anesthesia I woke up, I had no sore throat, no cough, no issues whatsoever and the fact that the box was taken in and the pathologist was right next door came in and read it there was, was life changing. I do a lot of this and a lot of times I'm coming out and telling the patients that it is potentially a cancer. When I saw them walk through the door, before they said anything, I guess I think I knew, okay, this is my life about to unfold, <laughs> you know, um, either Either it is or it isn't. It was great to come out and talk to the whole family and tell them that this was not cancer and this was a condition that we could treat. It was total joy <laughs> when they gave us the results. My wife smiled, told it all. Uh, this isn't cancer. He wanted to go to work the next day and he actually did after the procedure and he wanted to go on vacation to the Bahamas I think he went scuba diving in the Bahamas with his wife. He was back to normal. So that was my prayer answer. Got him back. <laughs> Specialists or more pulmonologists should know about this technology. And if they're not doing the, using the technology, they should refer their patients to people who are. Because for the patient, this is still the best technology out there. I mean, everyone wins. It just improves the yield. It improves the patient's you know, complication rate, and I think it's, it's a win-win for everybody. Indicated for displaying images of the tracheal bronchial tree to aid the physician in guiding endoscopic tools or catheters in the pulmonary tract and to enable marker placement within soft lung tissue. It does not make a diagnosis and is not an endoscopic tool, not for pediatric use. Flexible bronchoscopy should be performed only when the relative benefits outweigh the risks. Absolute contraindications include, but are not limited to, absence of consent from the patient or his or her representative unless a medical emergency exists and patient is not competent to give permission, absence of an experienced bronchoscopist to perform or closely and directly supervise the procedure, lack of adequate facilities and personnel to care for such emergencies as cardiopulmonary arrest, pneumothorax, or bleeding.
inability to adequately oxygenate the patient during the procedure, pediatric patients, the safety of use of the superdimension eye logic in patients with electrically or magnetically activated implanted medical devices has not been evaluated. The superdimension eye logic system may only be used by a qualified bronchoscopist, referred to in the manual as the physician, who has read the operating instructions of the user manual and has successfully completed the required training course on how to use the system. Read and understand the entire manual before using the system.